Hi, thanks for joining me again. My name is Sean Fairchild, and I've made a few of these videos comparing different Warwick models. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between the Aguilar OBP3 preamp, which is in this space right now, it's the sound you just heard, and the stock Warwick MEC3 preamp. So here are some notes that I have, here are some, some observations that, that I've taken, and uh, feel free to leave comments and let me know what, what you think either way. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's talk about some of the differences between the two preamps. The Warwick BEC3 preamp features controls set at 100 hertz for bass, 800 hertz for mid, and 8 kilohertz for treble. The Aguilar OBP3 preamp that you heard in the opening of this video, um, that has bass centered at 40 hertz, mid at either 800 hertz or 400 hertz. Um, however, I have um, to, to maintain as much similarity as possible to the MEC preamp, I have my mid control set at 800 hertz, uh, same as the MEC. And the, the treble frequency is 6.5 kilohertz. Um, so that's kind of a big difference there between that one and the MEC. I'm recording directly into my computer, so you're not hearing any room sounds. Uh, basically, I have, um, I have an onboard bypass of my Aguilar preamp, which is the, the preamp that I have on board here. And uh, I have the Warwick MEC3 preamp installed into this neat little enclosure that I picked up at Radio Shack. And uh, it basically is installed the exact same way that, um, that you would have it in a bass. So it has bass, mid, and treble controls, a SPDT bypass switch. So I'm capable of bypassing both preamps or either preamp uh, so I can pass on the, the sound from the pickups directly to either preamp in, a, in an unloaded state. So you'll be able to, to hear the, the pure sound of the pickups here. The pickups are the stock MEC pickups that come with the Streamer Stage 2 bass. Okay, I'm going to play a little bit for you now with both preamps totally bypassed. This is with no EQ, just the direct sound from the pickups. <laughs> Here is the sound with the Aguilar engaged, but with absolutely no EQ. So all I'm going to do is press my volume button down. So now I've uh, engaged the Aguilar preamp, but again, all of my controls are at their center detents. <laughs> Just another quick reference with the preamp totally disengaged, no EQ, no preamp, straight sound from pickups. And now we're going to have the Warwick BEC3 preamp engaged. So this is flat, all of the controls here are at their center detents, Warwick MEC3. to flat. So in my opinion, the biggest difference right off the bat there is that the Aguilar seems to have a, a more natural, well I guess a more, uh, a more baseline bypass setting than the Warwick preamp does. So both, both both preamps when they were engaged there had no EQ going on at all. Everything was at the center detent. Um, I'm using the 50K linear pots that Aguilar recommends for the Aguilar preamp. I'm using the 100K linear pots that came with the Warwick preamp. Everything is is uh, identical to how, how it should be installed in, in the base itself. Um, so what I hear there is a lot more mid cut and a little bit of treble boost from the MEC3. All right, so now I'm going to play the same thing for you with the Aguilar engaged and some bass and treble added in here. Here you go. This is the Aguilar OBP3 
with mids at the center detent, uh, bass and treble both boosted a little bit less than halfway. <laughs> Passing the Aguilar, going into the Warwick MEC3 or MEC BEC3 preamp. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just boost its bass and treble by about the same amount that I boosted my onboard a second ago. And here you go. Here's that preamp sound. <laughs> probably notice a big difference in the mids between the two preamps. Uh, this sort of goes along with, with my observation that the, the MEC3, right off the bat when you engage it, has a pretty significant mid cut. So let me do these two back to back. Here's a little bit of that one again. This is the Warwick preamp. <laughs> Engaging the Aguilar, here's the Aguilar. However, now if I cut the mids on the Aguilar preamp, it begins to approximate the Warwick preamp a little bit more. So I'm going to cut the mids, and actually I'm going to add just a hair more treble. Okay, so this is the Aguilar preamp once again. Right after this, I'm going to go into the... MEC preamp with the same settings as last time. Mids at center detent, uh, bass and treble both boosted a little bit less than halfway. And the MEC. not quite as much difference between the two. Well, I'm just going to give you a little bit of some finger style examples here. We'll make this a little bit quicker. So here's with the Aguilar preamp engaged but controls completely flat. <laughs> Some bass and treble added on the Aguilar. And the Aguilar uh, bypassed. MEC on with, uh, let's do MEC completely flat first. <laughs> And now bass and treble engaged. Or, I'm sorry, bass and treble about uh, the same amount as it has been elsewise, uh, elsewhere in this video. Both a little bit less than halfway boosted. <laughs> back and forth, that was MEC, to the Aguilar. Aguilar with the mids cut. joining me. Um, hopefully if you have been thinking about getting a uh, aftermarket preamp installed into your into your Warwick or into any other base for that matter and you're thinking about the Aguilar preamp um, or if you're thinking about uh, going with a Warwick preamp or going back to your old Warwick preamp hopefully you can use this comparison um, uh, to, to give you some guidelines and 
see what you prefer more. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to let me know. And uh, I invite you to watch the rest of my videos here on the channel. And thank you very much for watching.